Welcome to Fintech Monthly for November 2016, your roundup of the month's top financial technology news. This episode, we're filming from the office of World Remit, an online money transfer service that enables people to easily send funds overseas. In fintech investment news, digital wealth manager Nutmeg raised a £30 million Series C round. Led by Convoy Global Holdings, this marks the largest fintech raise since Brexit. Loot, a banking and money management app, raised £2.5 million. Investors included Austrian early stage fund Speed Invest and Global Founders Capital. Edinburgh-based free agent floated on AIM, raising £10.7 million. The accounting software firm's flotation comes after it raised over £1.2 million on Cedars in July last year. Britain's Royal Mint and derivatives exchange CME Group have teamed up to create a blockchain-based gold trading platform. Due to launch in 2017, the digital platform is designed to cut the costs involved in trading the precious metal. I asked James Brockhurst from law firm Gowling WLG to tell us more about how blockchain technology can be used in the transfer of physical assets. This is an interesting area because you're basically taking physical assets and giving them a digital identity. So if you have real estate or artwork or indeed a block of gold, any of these assets can be stored on a blockchain. Uh, and this concept has been called coloured coins. It's the idea that you take a digital coin or token and you embed extra data into it. So now you have a digital token which represents a real world asset. And this is tradable, you can sell it, you can mortgage it, gift it, etc. So that offers new and interesting opportunities in the world of finance. A survey of 70 UK-led financial services firms found 100% expect to purchase a product or commission work from a fintech company over the next three years. That's according to a report called The ABC of Fintech by law firm Mayer Brown. It also revealed more than half of UK-led fintech companies favoured acquisition by a financial services firm as their exit strategy. The Pulse of Fintech report by CB Insights and KPMG found investment in VC-backed fintech companies across the globe dropped 12% in Q3 2016. Despite raising a total of $2.4 billion, the number of deals dropped to 178, the lowest level since Q2 2014. That's all for this month's Roundup. Visit our Fintech News Channel for more and subscribe now to receive future Fintech monthly videos to your inbox. Thanks for watching.